Well, I'm Jeannie McClure. This is uh, Kirk McClure. We are from Lawrence, Kansas. Poll number, we are uh, 1153. We picked it up on June 27th, 2022. Well, we used to own a scamp. We've been long, lifelong campers, and so we used to do tent camping. We both were scouts. Our daughter was a scout. Um, and so when we were looking towards retirement, we thought, eh, the tent camping, you know, we want a bathroom and we want a kitchen. So we started looking at trailers and we did uh, have a scamp, a 16 foot scamp for about four years. And we had seen the Oliver and we kept seeing rare ones in the wild as they call it and started looking into them and decided that we wanted to do an upgrade. And so here we are and we are very happy we did it. I think the biggest reason we like the fiberglass uh, trailers, but we really wanted to do four season campings. We like camping out when it's snowing and so forth. And that was a big selling point of the Oliver. Poor Jeannie had put together a whole trip with the scamp. And I looked at the calendar and I said, you realize the last half of this trip, it'll be below freezing at night. We won't be able to use the tanks and the water. And Shoulder slumped, and I think that may have been the moment that the uh, the Oliver became yeah. the decision because we uh, we camped in the snow in March in Grand Canyon, and absolutely no difficulties. Everything ran just wonderfully. Yeah, uh, we, we were even nice had and cozy. two elk who came into the campsite and just laid down with us. <laughs> that was. One of those fabulous. great moments you just don't get in any other kind of recreation. It's just one of those magic moments you sit there and you realize it's a national park animal, so they have no fear, right? So it, the, uh, you know, we're sitting there, blankets around us, you know, and first elk walks up, by. second one walks up, they just lie down. Hour and a half, we just all sat all right, there. Like, are we supposed to go inside now that you're here <laughs> or, what, you know? <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> Anyway, I, I guess I should say though, we also have the LE1. The, we don't have, we have the single axle yeah. trailer, which is what our Toyota Tacoma will pull, um, which is why we got the single axle. It's also most, um, the, you know, the Scamp was a 16 foot, this is an 18 foot. So the size worked well for us. So, yeah. <laughs> the LA one owners get together. We, don't, we yeah, feel like the children's table in here. Hundreds yeah. of of uh, LE two <laughs> owners. But, uh, so when we see each other, we get very excited. Yeah. Like there's other LE ones here, and it's like, oh, you're an LE one. You're an LE one. But yeah. um, but we already own the Tacoma, and so the LE one is perfect for the Tacoma. It's almost like they were made to go together, um, and the. Tacoma fits in our garage. We didn't want to go get a bigger truck. So this is perfect. And it fits the two of us and the cat just perfectly. So yeah. it's very comfortable. There's headroom inside and there's a little um, cushion in the door so Kirk doesn't bang his head all the time, which he did on the on the scamp. And we can I, take uh, a shower I was easily. going to be a scarred scalp person <laughs> if we didn't get out of that scamp and move to something a little taller. <laughs> That's what did it with... Tent camping, you know, you gotta go to the bathroom, you gotta find your shoes, you gotta find a jacket, you gotta find a flashlight, and then you still got a quarter of a mile walk to a latrine somewhere, you know? Yeah, yeah. I, you guys have installed these beautiful little uh, lights, one on the floor. Yeah, I don't even need that, you know? I can get from the bed to the bathroom and back again. And, uh, yeah. It, it makes life so much easier. We did. Well, we, um, we had done some online research and we knew we wanted to consider the Oliver. And so um, we emailed and um, we got a response right away. And so we just did back and forth um, emailing with Anita for a while. And then um, we made uh, plans to visit Hohenwald, which was awesome. Unfortunately, uh, Anita was ill and couldn't meet us there, but Phil just stepped right in and took over. <clears throat> and showed us all the ropes and we looked at everything. He was so uh, nice and then we, we bought it. He took us on the tour of the factory, <clears throat> excuse me, and we bought it that day. Like we were pretty much knew what we wanted and Anita had asked, answered all our questions and the factory tour, well, Kirk can explain that because I think that was a, his aha moment was the factory tour. The, uh, 
the prior trailer was built to a price point, <coughs> and that meant there were just lots of concessions in design and construction. Uh, people had told us about the build quality of Oliver, and so it's one of those things. You, you see him on the highway, that's fine, but you walk through the factory, that's when you realize all the steps that are taken to make it the trailer it is. There's no wood. There's the, the double hull, the heating system that warms the tanks, uh, just all those details. Uh, that, well, on the day we were there, that we got to see them welding one yeah. of the trailers, which is, I don't know, a kind little of bit a of cool welding thing. Yeah. is hard. Right. <laughs> and those guys are. It was good. interesting. Yeah, yeah. And then they go through all these point checks. You know, when you, um, like, each stage of the build has certain checks, and then at the end they put it through the, the shower, so to speak, the rain simulation, and that we got to see all we got to see all of that, which was yeah. cool. Well, the key thing, Jeannie has family and, and friends. Well, we, we have friends. She has family in Colorado. Um, boy, it can get real cold real quickly you know, when you get into those higher elevations. Uh, so that, that four season uh, is really important. Uh, selling point that I didn't dream would happen. We got 13 to 14 miles per gallon uh, with a Tacoma and a Scamp. We get 14 to 15 miles per gallon with the much heavier Oliver. Just better wheels, better suspension, more aerodynamic, uh, toes like a dream, and yeah. we get better mileage, so yeah. you know. Even though you said the Oliver was heavy, it still oh, it's is very, easily pullable yeah. up mountains in Colorado. We do a lot yeah. of camping in Colorado, and it's very easy. You know, every now and then the truck well, will start to... The point to... of it, is it's right at double the weight of the Scamp, yet I get better mileage with it, and yeah. um, the heavier might help. It might also be the Anderson hit. Uh, I had to swerve for debris in the road uh, coming On the way here, here fact, yeah. yeah. And normally with the Scamp, there would have been that echo sway to get things back into control. Nope. Got back into the lane, everything was fine. You know, uh, it's just better engineered, better designed, works better. Yeah. Well, we like to hike. Um, we actually love meeting people. We um, love campfires. We cook outside a lot. Um, you know, I wouldn't say we're really adventurous as far as you know. We're not hiking down to the <laughs> bottom of the canyon, at the Grand Canyon, but we're definitely hiking around the rims and getting into nooks and crannies and stuff. So I think that's our main thing. We're not fish, we don't fish or anything like that. We do like to canoe, we'll rent canoes. We do like to bike. If, we don't carry our bikes with us, but we'll rent bikes different places and ride around. So we enjoy doing that. Um, we like visiting national parks, but national forests I think are our favorite just because yeah. we love the trees and the sky. We love to look at the stars at night and everything, so. Yeah with the built-in tanks, the battery system, uh, a plug point for selling things. These uh, quick connect uh, propane's the best thing ever mm. because you know all the stuff of taking a propane tank out, that's gone now. You know? I've got a, a grill and an outside stove and a little propane uh, campfire, just plug in. And especially when our winter trip uh, earlier this year, uh, you know, the weather would change on you rapidly. Put the propane stuff away, you can go inside. You can cook inside or outside. Well, I think, you know, there's sticker shock at first, um, but it's worth every penny we spent on it. And we are now excited about add-ons. Like, we're like, oh, we need this now or we need that. Um, so I, I, my advice is to look around and make sure you understand what it is you want to do. If you want to do a lot of boondocking, this is a great trailer. If you're new to camping, you might want to start out with a, you know, a beginner trailer, so to speak, or a, a pop-up tent camper or something like that, and just see if you even like it. Um, and if you do, then the Oliver will make more sense as you go. It's, it's easy to clean because of the double hole. It's comfortable whether you have the LE1 or the LE2. It 
drives like, a, you know, tows like a dream. Um, so I, I would just say do your research, and I know it can be overwhelming, uh, but the fiberglass really does have its benefits. It's really an easy to maintain, easy to um, just be comfortable in. Uh, you know, I, I do like the extras, like the Truma hot water heater, the instant wa hot water, especially in the bathroom. That's, that's a really big game changer, you know, instead of waiting 10 minutes for the water to get warm or just boiling water and taking it to the bathroom. We have hot water everywhere. So I think it's just a matter of finding out, figuring out how you like to camp and then um, what suits that need. Right? I, this may be an odd point, but uh, we love the LE1, but it has the bed that runs east-west, as they say. It's yeah. a crawlover bed. Um, you know, some people just can't do that. So, you know, it, people yeah. need to think through some details. I would hate to think somebody gets an LE1 and realizes the crawlover bed doesn't work for. We actually met a couple uh, there's a different competitive brand, uh, Aluminum Air or something, you know, you know that brand. Uh, they actually admitted to us that they had purchased one with an east-west bed and they had to trade it in and buy a different one because they just couldn't handle the crawl. Yeah, he was like 6'5 or something, though. Well, he was a yeah. tall man, yeah, yes. Yeah. But, uh, so, but the LE2 might be better in that situation because yeah. of the twin beds, but... Yeah. Um, I think there are great advantages to that, but, you know, I, it just wasn't that big a deal to us. Yeah. And already owning the Tacoma, and we live in the Kansas City area, we have winter. Um, if your truck is in a garage, you don't have to scrape windshields in the morning, yeah. you know, and that's awfully nice. So uh, I, th I think you're right, people need to try camping. My sense is you wouldn't know enough about yourself. You go buy an Oliver first and then go try camping, my sense is, you may not know <laughs> what you want. So if you've camped for a while, um, the uh, I mean, little decisions like adding on the quick connects. Uh, I wasn't sure I would like that at first. We'd never had. I would never not do that now. You know, I've got a yeah. couple of hoses that, that is just so convenient. Yeah, we did upgrade. We bought a mattress. Um, yeah. So we just have it, the bed permanently as a bed instead of, you can make it into a dinette, but it's just the two of us. So that works out great for us. Um, yeah. But I, I think too, just in general, Oliver or not, there's so much online on you know social media, Facebook, Instagram, all that, that you can join groups that talk about different types of camping. Like there's a whole group on just the Grand Canyon and things you can do there. So if you know what you want, you can find a group, find out different information. There's, um, Lots of resources. Everybody's going to have their own opinion about what camping means to them, which is great. That's part, you know, there's lots to offer in the U.S. as far as camping in Canada. So that's our thing is we want to get up to Banff one of these days soon. And uh, We tried in 2020 and the Canadians work. closed the border because of the <laughs> pandemic. <laughs> anyway, right, so I think it's just a matter of, you know, do your research, find out what you want. If you need to start out with something a little bit smaller just to see how it works and then really figure out what you want. Don't be afraid to upgrade. We are very happy. We we feel like we upgraded and it's worth every every single penny. Build quality matters and yeah. this is the top end of the build quality. Yeah.